So I've got a lot of questions about my mobility. How do I get around the house, especially a tri-level house? If you're not from America or from a part of the country where tri-level houses are really popular, it means that I've got two sets of stairs, so our house is sectioned with way too many stairs and it makes it difficult. I can't use a wheelchair, I can't use um, one of those cute little scooter things you put your knees on very easily. So this is how I get around. But before I dive into that, I just want to take a moment to say thank you. Like, thank you for all of your amazing comments, for all of your support. I've been just reading through everything and wow, you all are amazing and I am so grateful that you're part of this journey. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. It seriously warms my heart more than I can tell you guys. All right, so you guys requested this video uh, many times actually. It's been a little while in coming, so here you go. So how well do I actually get around the house? I got this question on the comment section of one of my latest videos and I'm out of breath from hopping like three steps. I actually get around the house pretty well now that I am less dizzy than I was in the first month after surgery and I am still out of breath. Well, I'm gonna have to restart this video. Thanks to 14 years on my trusty crutches and uh, 10 surgeries prior to my amputation, I'm actually pretty adept at making my way around the house and um, around town now, I'm getting out and about. Having my leg, my amputated leg below heart level for a long time, it starts to turn ugly colors and hurt a lot so I'm not up and about for long periods of time right now, but when I am up and about, I'm able to do a lot. Like for instance, get up and down stairs. Um, I'm able to move around really easily. I can make it upstairs like make myself coffee like you've seen in other videos or go see my rats upstairs or let the cats out or things like that. So I'm really grateful for that. I also can hop um, pretty well on one foot. I've got um, actually a terrible sense of balance, weirdly enough. I'll tip over often if you know me in real life, but for whatever reason, hopping around on one leg, I am able to do. And um, otherwise, aside from the fact that, you know, I don't have a leg anymore and had many issues on that, I'm a, a pretty healthy person otherwise. Mobility, aside from the fact that I am now an amputee, is okay. I'm not even gonna lie, I am still a little bit out of breath. First day out of surgery, I was up moving around on crutches. Um, like I said, thanks to years of practice, I, I never had to use a walker or anything like that. I know that's not the case for a lot of people. I think it's honestly just because I had like the muscle memory from so much unintentional practice on crutches. So I mean, I wouldn't call myself a pro on crutches, but if you wanna call me one, I wouldn't be mad about it. Just kidding guys, here's what I look like moving around the house, doing some really basic activities as you guys requested it, and and I shall deliver it. Here you go. lunch so I got my uh, coffee and organic pizza rolls because I like making myself feel better by thinking that organic pizza rolls are better than just like normal pizza rolls even though we all know they aren't Whew. 
and now that I'm sweating and out of breath, I'm gonna eat some lunch and lay down. Uh, I hope you guys are doing wonderfully. Bye. I forgot water. No!